Did you know that living in Roatan, Honduras can be over 30% cheaper than in many popular expat destinations? That's right. While many dream of island life, few realize that Roatan makes it not just a fantasy, but a financially feasible reality. Forget everything you think you know about the cost of paradise. Roatan will definitely surprise you. Whether you're curious about the main cost of moving here or the unexpected expenses, as a local born and raised on the island, I'm here to give you a detailed breakdown of my personal monthly budget. So, would you move to Roatan if it could be cheaper than your current living expenses? Let's dive into the numbers and find out. Today, we're diving into a topic that's not only fascinating, but could also be a game changer for many of you considering a new chapter in life. We're talking about living in Roatan, Honduras, a dream for many looking to escape the hustle and bustle for island serenity. But as with any big move, it's crucial to understand what kind of budget you'll need. Why focus on Roatan? Because it's not just about the allure of white sandy beaches and crystal clear waters. It's about affordability. Living here can be surprisingly less expensive compared to many US cities and other expat hotspots. Understanding the detailed expenses is essential whether it's housing, groceries, healthcare, or leisure activities. In this video, I'll be taking you through my personal monthly expenses to give you a clear picture of what it really costs to live in Roatan. Whether you're seriously considering this move or just dreaming for now, knowing these numbers is key to making informed decisions. Let's peel back the curtain and see what budgeting for life in paradise really looks like. When it comes to moving abroad, especially to an idyllic island like Roatan, Honduras, the idea can feel as breezy as the ocean air. But here's the real challenge, creating a realistic budget that truly reflects life in a new country. This is where many dreamers hit a roadblock, and it's crucial to understand these hurdles before packing your bags. First off, there's the issue of access to reliable information. While you can find a wealth of data on some popular expat destinations, places like Roatan often have less documented details available online. This scarcity makes it difficult to gauge everyday expenses like grocery, utility costs, and healthcare. What ends up happening, many potential expats either underestimate or overestimate their needed budget, which can lead to financial stress or even derail plans altogether. Another challenge is understanding the local market. The cost of living can vary drastically even within small islands like Roatan, depending on the area. For instance, tourist zones are typically pricier than local neighborhoods, but the differences aren't always clear until you're actually on the ground. Plus, prices for certain items, particularly imports, can be higher than what you're used to back home. Then, there's the fluctuation in currency exchange rates, which can affect your budget planning significantly. An exchange rate that looks favorable one month might shift and stretch your budget the next. This volatility requires expats to have a flexible financial plan and possibly more savings than initially expected. Lastly, integrating into a new community comes with unexpected costs. Whether it's fees for setting up utilities, buying furniture, or even the costs associated with new social activities to meet people, these can add up quickly and are often overlooked in initial budgets. Navigating these challenges requires thorough research, flexibility, and sometimes learning from those already living there. That's why I'm here to share my own experiences and break down my monthly expenses, giving you a clearer view of what to really expect. 
Understanding these elements will help you prepare a more accurate budget, ensuring your transition to island life is as smooth as possible. Let's dive deeper and tackle these challenges together. All right, let's dive into the real meat of living in Roatan, the monthly expenses, about everything from housing to food, transportation, healthcare, and entertainment. I'll give you the inside scoop on what each of these costs and how you can budget effectively if you're considering making Roatan your new home. Housing. First up, let's talk about where you're going to live. Personally, I own my house here, so I don't pay rent, which is a huge saving. However, if you're looking to rent, you can expect to pay anywhere from $300 to $400 a month for a decent place. This will typically get you a two bedroom, one bath house, which is quite reasonable by any standard. The key here is location and negotiation. Make sure you explore different areas and talk to locals to get the best deal. Food. Moving on to groceries, my monthly food expense ranges from $100 to $150. I like to shop in local markets where the prices are lower and the produce is fresher. However, for items that I can't find locally, I head over to Eldon Supermarket. Shopping this way helps me save money while supporting local vendors. Planning your meals and knowing where to shop can really help in keeping your food budget under control. Transportation. As for getting around, I own a car, so my main transportation cost is fuel. I spend about $40 a month on gas. Owning a car here is convenient and cost effective in the long run, especially if you live outside the main town or like exploring the island. If you don't have a car, there are public transportation options, but they can be less reliable and might not always go where you need when you need. Healthcare. Healthcare is another vital consideration. I typically spend about $20 a month on doctor's visits. And if I need medication, that's an additional $20. It's relatively affordable, especially compared to US prices but it's important to have local health care coverage or enough savings to cover any unexpected health issues. Always check what services are available and consider health insurance options that cover international treatment. Entertainment. Finally, let's talk about fun. Entertainment. I enjoy going out, especially on weekends, and I budget around $50 for this. Whether it's hitting a local bar, dining out, or attending a party, Roatan has plenty of options without breaking the bank. Again, knowing the best spots and local deals can make your entertainment budget go further. To wrap up, let's quickly recap the main expenses we've covered for living comfortably in Roatan. Housing can range from $300 to $400 for a decent rental, Food expenses are typically between $100 to $150 uh, depending on where and how you shop. Transportation costs about $40 monthly if you own a car. Healthcare can be around $40 including doctor's visits and medicine and entertainment can add another $50 for those enjoyable weekends out. Creating a realistic budget is absolutely crucial when considering a move to Roatan or anywhere abroad for that matter. Today, we've gone through a breakdown of various expenses to help you understand what budgeting for life here really looks like. Remember, it's about more than just knowing the numbers. It's about adapting to local shopping habits, understanding the community, and making smart choices that align with your lifestyle. By doing so, you can ensure that your dream of island living doesn't just remain a dream, but transforms into a sustainable, enjoyable reality. Living in Roatan 
has its unique challenges, but with the right budgeting approach, it also offers an unparalleled opportunity to enjoy life in paradise. Thanks for tuning in, and here's to making informed decisions that lead to a fulfilling life in raw time. Thanks for sticking with us. If you've got any questions or your own budgeting tips for Roatan, let's hear them in the comments. Also, be sure to check out my other videos for more insights on living in Honduras. And if you're finding these videos helpful, hit that subscribe button to join our community and keep up with all the latest tips to make your island dream a reality.